on my home for the night. How nice is that? Look at that. Oh my god. Nothing but mountains. No people. Strong LTE. So I can watch Netflix tonight. So today, we are conquering the Oregon Needles. Rated as the hardest hike in New Mexico. Approximately 4,000 feet of gain, which is like twice the size of the highest building in the world. It's gonna be pretty rad. Pretty fucking steep. It's probably a mountain lion watching me right now, laughing at how pathetic I am climbing up through these mountains when it probably strolls with ease. We're almost there. So close. We are very, very high up right now. This is crazy. Well, I'll uh, gladly admit I'm a little off trail here. Not really sure where it's at. But all I know is I need to get up there. Here's another little tip. I like to use all trails if Google Map doesn't have the route I'm trying to go on. And it helps you stay on track. And you can use it offline as well, which is really helpful if you don't have service. So I haven't been able to film the last half mile of this hike because A, my Osmo pocket's pretty much dead. And B, this last half mile's no joke. As you can see behind me, it's, it's what I've been walking through slash rock climbing on things like that. But the top's right there, it's just around the corner. Boom. And if you're gonna do this in the winter, bring some yak tracks or if you have crampons. This is nothing but ice all the way up. So this is how you know you're ready to go close to the top. Give you some rope. I've arrived to the top of the Oregon Mountains. Holy shit. So over there. That's El Magardo. That is a snow peak mountain. That's 12, 11 and a half thousand feet tall. So that's, we're at about 9,200. See, I do the math, that's 3,000 more feet. It's fucking crazy. There's one needle. We're on another needle. There's no other needle over there. And there's one more needle back behind there. We are on that, that jagged edge. Man, literally came from all the way down there. You can probably actually see my car. Where are we at? Let's see here. See how, that little spoofy there in the middle there? That's my car. I have to get all the way the fuck down there. So we're only half, we're only half done. This is Las Cruces. This is facing west. So that mountain range you see out there is most likely the Gila, which we'll be driving through in a few days. Here's the rest of the organs. They're so fucking beautiful. Just jagged mountains. Little meadow over there. Man, this is so incredible. Down over there is El Paso. This place is out freaking rageous. Hell of a hike. I would easily say, if you're a novice, this is 10 out of 10 hard. Um, I've been rock climbing and hiking at a 
not a high level, but above average level for 10 years. And I had some questionable moments myself. Pretty questionable. So I would say if you're a beginner, 1000% come up here with another person, please. Bring extra food, bring gear, bring all of it. I mean, not too much though that you're overweighing yourself, but I feel like I could have easily got up and down here with uh, no food, just a big breakfast and a lot of water. I'm a little hungry right now. I'm going to be heading down that way soon. Give me a beer and some pizza. Maybe a steak, I don't know yet. But uh, yeah, if you're an intermediate hiker who dabbles in rock climbing, I would say this is probably like a good seven, out of, I'd rate it seven out of 10 for sure. There was easily some five, eight climbing going on just to get to the top of here. Uh, there's a little bit of a wall and some rope. You have to like work your way up. It's a little sketchy, but it's very secure. Um, if you're a professional, if you're freaking Alex Honnold, this is like, this is a 5 out of 10. <laughs> this is an easy hike for him, no problem. But yeah, this is, this is so cool. Look how high up we are. You can see all the roads. You can see where all the old uh, rivers used to flow through when this place used to be basically a rainforest back in the Ice Age days. It's so wild. Oh, look at that. You can see white sands. All that white shit on the ground. Crazy, man. <laughs> so the mountain range over there, that's San Andreas. That's also where NASA does NASA things. Well, I'm going to start heading down. I have to navigate a freaking ice flow. That's going to be pretty sketchy, but... <laughs> I'll be on my booty the whole time. I'll be all right. All right, now, all I gotta do is just get down there. No problem. So, the way down is way harder than going up. All I've been doing is sliding on very loose, gra whoa, very loose gravel, having to climb down backwards on things, slide on my bootay, which resulted into sliding into a small cactus that <clears throat> was hidden under the dirt. It hurt. I even got one under the under my fingernail. Because you see these rocks just keep slipping and slipping and slipping. Highly recommend trekking poles. I would just I would even just throw on yak tracks just to have extra traction because this is ridiculous. This is taking me forever just to get down. It's kind of annoying. I'm hungry, my legs are not working anymore, and I'm complaining. Whoa, what was that? Crazy birds, man. There's a bird out here. It sounds like, uh, sounds like, it sounds like there's a referee blowing a whistle. Kind of threw me off for a minute. I thought I was hallucinating. Oh! God, this trail's no joke. All right, we're out of the hard part. We're now on more gradual ground where I can go a little faster. I was averaging about two and a half, three miles an hour going up till it got vertical back there. And going down, I'm easily going half that speed. So yeah, I plan on a long descent and a quicker ascent for sure. So that was, so that was an extremely hard hike. <clears throat> Pretty sure I got plantar fasciitis. Um, it took me seven and a half hours, and it was approximately 7.8 miles long, and I averaged one mile an hour. <laughs> so that makes sense. Uh, it was just rough. The way up was was fun because it's a bunch of scrambling and rock climbing and stuff like that, but the way down was. That was brutal the way down like it's not it's not like a nice like descent it's more like blah and you're just sliding down for more than half the way which is not fun um but once i got past halfway then it was more gradual the ground was way better 
I was slipping and sliding everywhere. I got cactus uh, thing, whatever, spiny thing shoved up into my fingernail. Uh, I had to slide down my butt a couple times and ran over some cactus on my on my culo. <sighs> Fudge. This light is ridiculous. <sighs> so I'm pooped. My car's a mess again. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm just going to go to town. I'm just going to get Panda Express. I'm going to pound a Dr. Pepper. I'm going to just recollect myself. And then I got to go to Starbucks and work for like an hour. And I think I'm going to go to Walmart. I'm going to, I think I'm going to put up like a little bit of a net up here. Because I got so much shit. That's just kind of like in the way all the time. And I don't use it all the time. So I'm going to see if I can make some kind of net system. And uh, figure out my storage situation a little bit better. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you get some valuable information on how insane this hike is. And I read on all trails that it was rated uh, BLM-wise like the hardest hike in New Mexico. And I've done a lot of hikes in a lot of places. And this was like, this was pretty hard. <sighs> I told myself I wouldn't do it again, but <laughs> I'd do it again for sure. The time probably without the ice. That sucked. But, hey, it makes for great memories. I'm going to talk about this one for a while. Keeps you humble. You know, it reminds you, like, like how, like, really, like, crappy human beings are in mountains. Like, getting around in the mountains being a human sucks. And you see all these animals, like mountain goats, snow leopards, mountain lions whatever they're just flying around they don't care they're just like watch this more power to them all right i'm gonna go eat bye